Um, I just went over and I did a, I had a voiceover for a, uh, for a TV show, which is cool, man, you know. Uh, did that in the morning, and then I was going to go over and do something productive, and I ended up being in a part of the city where somebody showed me where there was a good burger, and I got the burger. And then down the street, there was this place where you get an ice cream sandwich that has a fucking, that instead of having the sandwich part, it's actually a donut. I know what you're thinking, Bill. Jesus Christ, what are you doing? And it's like I'm on the rails and I'm off the rails. I ate perfectly the last three days. I was over in that part of the city. My wife was there. She always knows every good place to eat. I folded. I just wanted her to know that I knew where some places were too, you know? And we'd already gotten into a fight. We had a brutal fight today. She actually fucking screamed at me. and I didn't say anything because she was right. What happened was, was I was in bumper to bumper traffic out here, right? So we got a green light, but I can't get across the intersection without blocking it. So I'm waiting for the people to pull up as the light's green. So I hear this guy behind me beep. Then all of a sudden, he tries to pass me on the right like he's just going to go around me like I'm some sort of bitch, right? So I step on the gas of my Prius, (laughs) and we fucking drive up, and he's trying to cut in, and I fucking cut this guy off. He came within a coat of paint of hitting us. All right, but I fucking boxed him out between me and the parked car, and he had to give in. So now we're just parallel. Nia screamed like a like a person who was not driving the car and was sitting in the passenger seat. Right, fucking screamed. And initially, she starts yelling at the guy, and I'm yelling at the guy. He puts the window down. I'm like, dude, what the fuck is wrong? He's like, what the fuck are you stopping at a fucking green light? I'm like, there's no fucking room. He's like, blah blah blah. And Nia's screaming at him. And then I go, dude, you're a fucking psycho, pointing at my own head. You're a fucking psycho. He goes, you're a fucking psycho, too. Now, looking back, I should have been like, all right, it's a decent point. But, you know, I wasn't. I wasn't in psycho move until you did that Mad Max shit, you fucking cunt. And then this is what kills me. Nia rolls the window up, and then the fucking guy goes around me on the left this time and makes a left and leaves. So that's the end for him. Now Nia... It's just sitting there, like, shaking with their arms crossed. And I'm like, ah, fuck, here we go. And I just, so I'm trying to be funny about it. I'm like, hey, Nia, great job. You really gave that guy hell. And and then she's just fucking staring ahead. And I'm like, I'm like, are you mad at me? And she just screamed like, he almost hit the side of the car, the side that I was on. Like, freaking out. And I was just like, yeah, Jesus. And then I wanted to apologize, and I started thinking about Johnny Roast Beef and Goodfellas, you know, when he buys the pink Cadillac. You know? His fucking Jimmy's going, what's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? And he just keeps going, I'm sorry. I, it's, it's in my grandmother's name. Like, I, I, I just kept picturing his dumb face. Unfortunately, she didn't look at me because I had a smirk on my face because that's what I felt like. Because she, she was 100% right. So... Uh, like a good 10 miles of silence in stop and go traffic. So that's the equivalent of like 40 miles of, I didn't live in such an overcrowded city. And she's just like, you know, she, her face, she has like three different levels of mad. And she was at like the top level of mad. And I kept looking over, you know, her bottom lip was still stuck out like a, you know, she's like a little dog that was mad, you know, like your little brother right before he cries. You're like, is he going to cry? Or is he going to punch me in the head? You know, when you do that, when you push your little brother too far, you're like, he's either going to start swinging or start crying. I don't know. I want to lean back a little bit, get the arms up, right? She had that look on her face. And the next time I looked over, it was just an angry face. And then I looked over again, and then her arms were just crossed. So I know at that point that you can actually talk to her. So I, uh, I tried to cute my way out of it. I said, listen, you were uh, 100% right. She goes, that's right, I was. I go, all right, let me rephrase that. You were 110% right. And she gave me shit back again. I said, all right, look, you were... 120% right, and that's my final offer, All right? Got a little bit of a smile out of it, but she was fucking mad at me. Uh, I don't, then I tried to turn it around on her. I tried to say, like, that's why I'm successful, because I don't take shit from other people. Like, like that's a situation that you, you, you need to take shit in. Just let the fucking maniac go. Who gives a shit, Bill? Why do you give a fuck? Why do you immediately go into, like, like uh, lunatic mode? And I was actually thinking about it when I was driving home, how my wife's energy is so much more chill than mine. And I'm like, am I just like like a car engine that just idles higher? 
and I can't fucking, you know, I'm just burning through the tank of gas? Or do I wake up in the morning chill like she does and I just don't let life affect me? No, and I let she doesn't let life affect her the way it affects me. And I actually think it's uh, I think it's a little more the second one. I think I just need to fucking relax a little bit. What the fuck is wrong with me? I'm yelling at the guy. You're a fucking psycho. You're what? What do I? Don't, for all I know, that guy knows all that jujitsu shit. He's thinking, oh, he's got me down. You know, he's past my guard. I'm laying on the street. You know. <laughs> all of a sudden, my Prius goes into gear and it runs over my wrist and snaps my watch band, but doesn't break any bones because it's a Prius, right? What the fuck is wrong with me? So it was like a perfect day. I'm on vacation. She was loving that I was relaxed and all of that. And within two seconds, one cunt fucked up my whole day. And what was really making me laugh was that guy was by himself. So the second he went around me and made the left, it was over. He left. And then there I was getting yelled at by my wife for the next fucking 10 miles. And I was kind of laughing to myself going, ah, son of a bitch won. I thought I won when he didn't get in. I thought I won. I didn't. I didn't. I won the first round. Then got the old right there, Fred, when it went to the judges, right? So it's fucking pathetic. Um, anyways, what a dick. I didn't think it was him like because he had like this foreign car, but it had like an American car sounding horn. So I didn't think it was him. So I was off my game and he almost got around me. I don't know. It's probably stupid, right? Ah, oh, fuck you. you. You don't make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Ooh, ooh. 